But even when I look at like our baby pictures, I can't tell you who. I have no idea. Our mom had to paint our fingernails or toenails or something. <laughs> That man and his twin took a handful of at-home DNA kits to see just how accurate they really are. 23andMe, Ancestry, and MyHeritage are gaining popularity as more people want to find out about their family trees. Those at-home DNA kits can cost all different prices. So we wanted to know if the more you pay, the more accurate the test becomes. And as Fox 43 finds out, there was a twist the twins didn't see coming. No one can tell us apart. Jason and Justin Bachman have lived as identical twins for almost 30 years, matching outfits and all. But even when I look at like our baby pictures, I can't tell you who. I have no idea. Our mom had to paint our fingernails or toenails or something. <laughs> they seem like the perfect pair to test different at-home DNA kits to see if they really are accurate. Because technically, identical twins should have identical DNA, right? I expected everything to be the same, honestly. Justin and Jason have tried out Ancestry, 23andMe, and My Heritage Test, with Ancestry DNA kit costing $99, 23andMe costing the same, and My Heritage is the cheapest at 59 bucks on sale from 79. After about 2 months, the twins got their results. Great Britain, what do you got? 42%. I have 47%. The results from Ancestry were not identical. The ethnicity estimate showed Justin having a higher percentage of his DNA from Great Britain than Scandinavia when compared to Jason's. That's a surprise. Next up, 23andMe. And again, the results were not the same. European, French and German, 69.8%. 592 For most of the breakdowns, the twins were just a few percentage points off. Even when you look at the chromosomes, 23andMe says Justin and Jason are just a bit different. At least we always thought that your DNAs, we were told, were the same. So it's kind of cool to see that they are slightly different. The last results are from my heritage. Remember, this one is the cheapest at-home test. The results from this one were the same. The twins are both 100% North and West European. We took those results from all three tests to Millersville University to have some DNA experts explain why these identical twins would, in at least two of the tests, have different DNA. And it turns out these twins who were told they were identical since the day they were born are not identical at all. At least that's what these experts think. What looks to be a fairly straightforward case of where the doctors uh, first thought that they were identical twins, um, now that they have DNA sequencing, um, it really just looks like they're siblings, or uh, in this case, fraternal twins. The professors at Millersville are pretty confident the twins are fraternal, saying those DNA kits, or at least 23andMe in their opinion, are reliable. We got a pretty accurate picture. Um, of, of the person's DNA. Turns out it's not all that uncommon for twins to think they're identical when they're really not. About 20% of twins actually have mistaken identity of like uh, fraternal twins being uh, misdiagnosed as identical twins or vice versa. Um, so this isn't all that rare of an event. Fox 43 finds out had to break the news to the twins. So what they determined is that you guys are not identical twins. Really? Wow, didn't expect to hear that. They say finding out they're likely fraternal twins won't really change anything for them. Their mom and dad, though, that's a different story. My parents are going to be mind blown. Now there is a chance, a really small chance, the twins could be what's called chimeric. That would mean they have two different sets of DNA. It's really scientific and really confusing, but there's all sorts of studies out there that look into this. Some saying it's as common as one in every 10 sets of twins. There is a blood test to determine that. The twins have agreed to get that blood test, so we'll see if we can eventually get you those results. Wow, amazing story. Uh, they pop up on the TV screen. <laughs> They look identical. Mm -hmm. It's how can they not be? It's crazy. I can tell you, I met them three times and I still can't tell them apart. Yeah. I make them sit in the same seats every time I have met them. But so the uh, experts at Millersville University kind of explain why they would look so much alike and still be fraternal. They do have chromosomes that are the same. That's what 23andMe showed. Now those chromosomes could be linked to physical traits, which would be why they look so similar. It's amazing. All the commercials for all the different mm -hmm. DNA testing and to see that they are as accurate as they claim. Yeah, it's and amazing. the experts did say that they thought 23andMe gave the best scientifically and gave the most explanation. 
So that was their choice. Um, but the twins, we went into this seeing if the tests were accurate, and it turns out they were more accurate than the, <laughs> the yeah. twins had been living. Well done. Thank you very much. And if you have a story you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out. Let me know. Send me a message on Facebook or shoot me an email at Fox43FindsOut at Fox43.com.